Today we're going to do the chromatography of ink. Um, we're doing thin layer chromatography, so we're using these silica coated uh, polyethylene sheets, plastic sheets. Um, so they're covered with silica gel, it's like 60 mesh. Um, here is uh, our threatening letter, or one of our exemplars for the threatening letter. Um, we're going to be taking our little pieces of paper, so we're going to take sections of paper, we're going to put them in here and extract with methanol. Um, so these are the 11 pen samples that we're going to analyze. I thought, why not? could be fun um, to do a whole bunch of them, see what we can find. Some of them were generic. Uh, they're all black ink, so we'll see how they, uh, how they separate, what kind of dyes are in them. Um, so the first thing we want to do is um, we're actually going to make our solvent. So we have a mixture that is 2 to 1 to 1, uh, butanol to 2 propanol to water. So I'm just going to put them, I'm just going to make those in here. Move this little cutter out of the way. Um, so we want 50 mils of one butanol. And I'm making a relatively large amount because we are going to do uh, a dozen separations. Good. So there's our one butanol, which is relatively nonpolar. So it's a chain of four carbons. Uh, with an alcohol group at the at the end. And then we've got 2-propanol, which is also known as isopropanol. So our 2-propanol uh, has three carbons, and the hydroxyl group is in the center on the second carbon, 25 mils of this. Uh, it's a little more polar than the 1-butanol. And then 25 milliliters of uh, deionized water. is well mixed. All right, so we have our TLC solvent prepared. So then we're actually going to use methanol to extract our samples. So first we're going to cut our paper samples and put them in our little wells. So we're going to sample from our letter and we're actually going to sample from here because we have a nice uh, large quantity of ink in this section of paper. I've already got these pre-labeled, so this is the well that's going to be, oops, our note, which I just stuck to the side of our sample plate. Right, so we want that to be in there. And I'm going to cut another little section. And so then we're going to go to each of our pens, and you'll notice I've got uh, spots ready to be sampled. All right, so now we're going to add uh, a few drops of methanol uh, to each of these to dissolve the ink. All right, so you can see that the ink is being extracted. We're going to let those sit for a while. And it's okay if the methanol evaporates, we can always add more. Um, the idea is that we just want these to, again, end up with the ink extracted. So here you can see that I've cut and notched all the TLC plates, so they're ready for deposition of ink samples, um, and then we'll do our separation. All right, so it's the first time I've used this notching technique. So we're gonna take some of our ink drawing it up into a capillary, and then we want to deposit it on our TLC plate. We want it to be a small dot, so we want to allow it to dry in between spottings. And so I ended up cutting the uh, notching out with scissors. And this one I just screwed up because I scored a line across it. So we're going to resample that. So we want to spot all these at about one centimeter up from the bottom. 
again this is from our note so just above a centimeter we're going to get some more sample from this one it was number 11. i'm not sure why a lot of these migrated up toward the top it's a little bit weird So now we have them all spotted. And so now ideally what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour solvent in all of the, uh, all the jars. Basically what I wanna make sure is that we cover the whole bottom. So we want our spots to be above the solvent line. All right, so our solvents are in. So then we take each of our samples Drop them in, lean them against the edge, and cover. All right, so we're gonna let these migrate up and then see what we see.